is the beef. Cut them in cubes. They're all clean. Wash them in vinegar and some lime juice. Squeeze lime on it. I'm going the pot is boiling, so I'm gonna add it into the pot and then I'm gonna add the chicken foot in right after. Woo! Oops! Slide in the beef on the side of the pot. There they go. Add chicken foot. Cut all the nails off. Clean them up. There you go. That beautiful pumpkin. Cut them up into little pieces and I'm going to add them to the pot with the beef and the chicken foot. to add my corn they're frozen corn so I just wash them then to add them in they come in an eight pack so I'm putting all eight in this pack Whoa. there you go so I have the chicken foot the beef the pumpkin and the corn cooking in the pot well actually I was looking for yellow yam but the store I went to they didn't carry it they only carry the white one so I didn't get um, yellow yam I don't I think I use my potato I do have sweet potato so I'm going to add that in a little later um, when the pot is almost cooked as well as my dumplings I'm gonna make spinners and put them in there so um, it's not gonna be a lot of stuff in the soup but still gonna be hearty and I might put some um, some pasta in there. I do have some cooked pasta from my last time making some pasta. So I might add that in there as well. Here and let this all cook. And make sure the meat is cooked. Um, the pumpkin I'm not worried about. It could, you know, cook out. That's fine with me. I'm not really a fan of the pumpkin either. But, um, you know, if I have some pieces, that would be great. So my little one could. But usually the pumpkin would cook out. And add that and cover it and let it cook. Let it cook. Simma, simma, simmer down. So I have two of these pumpkin and cock soup. I'm gonna put both of them in there and let it cook. I didn't. I put a little salt in the pot, but because I was, I know that I'm gonna put these in there. I don't put too much uh, salt in there because these are salty. Yeah. It smells gummy. Adding some carrots, some baby carrots. Added two handful of baby carrots peel my sweet potato going to add that in the pot shortly and then make my boy my spinners my dumpling let the pot cook. smells really yummy wish you could smell it through the screen <laughs> tell me what is your favorite soup Soup is good anytime for me. It's a good day for soup too. It's still, uh, there's still a lot of snow outside. And it's a little chilly. And there's little sniffles because of the cold. So, soup is perfect for today. Adding in my sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Cover them up and then finish making my spinners. Going to make my spinners. Add a little salt. Just a little. Spinners on the way. 
my usual style spoon first and then my hand Add a pepper smells yummy my spinners some time in there forgot to scale him <laughs> but at some time still smells yummy and tastes yummy so far I'm gonna let it cook just finished putting all the spinners in so I'm gonna let it cook down for the next 20 25 minutes and we're good found some scallion I'm gonna add some pasta. It's already cooked. Just gonna add a couple hands full. Not too much. Alright. I'm gonna let it cook. 15 20 minutes and we're all good. See, dumplings getting ready. Float into the top. Those spinners are floating to the top. Eating your corn? Eating your corn? Mm -hmm. 